The Lions kept their finals hopes alive with a convincing display on Wise Park against the Hunters. But it wasn't an easy start for the home side, who trailed by 12 points in the first 10 minutes. Hunters' hard-running second row, shouted Nick, created an opportunity right from the kickoff with an early penalty. Junior Filo charged through the middle before Kale McIntyre bulldozed his way through defenders to set up Lance Belfort for a try. Belfort stepped his way past two defenders before fending off Dominic Bartels to score under the post. The conversion was made by Kalila Tatsu McMillan and the Hunters led by six points to nil. Hunters' Shaori Nick continued his fine form into the second quarter. Atafakalelu was also a handful on attack. It didn't take long for the Hunters to score again. With Andy McKay putting speedster Belfort through a hole to score his second try. Kick converted by Galila Tatsu McMillan, score 12 to nil. After a handful of minutes, the locals found something to cheer about through Ulai Oti Lahud, who launched himself at the line to score. The kick was converted by Murphy Albright and the score 12 points to 6. Despite some brutal hits by K.O. McIntyre, the Lions managed to work their way into Hunter's territory. The Lions then exploited an overlap on the blind side with Vika Milovale crossing over to score. The conversion was unsuccessful and the score remained at 12 points to 10. Lions Joshua Kohika and Petta Noai led the charge back through the middle, making some good yards to put Marshall Maniapoto in a good position to score just before halftime. The kick was unsuccessful, but the Lions reclaimed the lead by 14 points to 12. The Lions wasted no time bursting out of the sheds to extend the lead through Vika Milovale. Milovale used good footwork and speed to evade his opponents before jutting down in the corner. The kick was unsuccessful and the score remained at 18 to 12. The Hunters answered with an incredible effort by Lewis England, who shrugged off two Wainui forwards before sprinting 70 meters to score. The kick was converted by Kalila McMillan in the score 18 0. The Hunters continued to apply pressure to Junior Filo, Keo McIntyre and Atafagalelu who were aggressive on attack. Shone Alofi and Daul Atafagalelu also made a solid impact off the bench to help set up Bobo Fuimaano with a try. The kick was unsuccessful and the score remained at 18-22 to the Hunters. Lions Frank Bardea and Don Bartels led the charge back with some powerful runs. Quick thinking by Murphy Albright put Joe Otti into space, sprinting 60 meters to score. Murphy Albright reclaimed the lead with his conversion. The score 24 22. With only 10 minutes to go and the Hunters on the back foot, Murphy Albright's individual brilliance led to another try by Joel Otti. The kick was converted in the Lions led by 30 points to 22. With only 5 minutes left on the clock, Frank Bartea, Petanoai, and Don Bartels continued to attack the Hunters line before the rampaging Happy Hour denied any chance of a draw 
bulldozing his way through Hunter's defenders to score just before full time to seal the match. Karan. Final score, 36 points to 22. This win puts the Lions two steps closer to a Premiership title. In other news, Tiara Eels has beaten defending champions Ranwick Kingfishers by 34 points to 22. The Kingfishers has struggled all year to beat the Eels, losing 3 from 3. The Kingfishers will now meet the Lions on Saturday for their semi-final clash. The winner will play Tiara Eels at Westbeck Stadium on Grand Finals Day. And that's our news for today. This is Tamir Murphy from Grassroots360.